Just take my time, got a nice birch right here, black birch. We took down uh, <clears throat> the fall. And I uh, got a bunch of trees over there. There's a whole bunch of trees down, but uh, I'm gonna use this. I can probably use it for a lot of different things. Firewood, of course, and uh, cooks with spoons. But uh, I'm by myself right now, so I'm not gonna do too much. Um, next weekend, I'll have a lot to help. Grandson and son. Those Queen Eskimo fair rod. Oh, God's country out here, man. It is nice. Take care. Yeah, so that's what we're doing on it. It's a beautiful day. It was 40 degrees this morning. It's supposed to hit 70, so I don't know what it is right now. But, uh, yeah, it's nice, man. Got all my uh, tick repellent on, chaps and everything else. And you can be careful with that, so. But, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing here. Just letting you know what's going on. Is everyone going to be looking at this wood prep? I don't know. It's time to prepare for wood, actually. That's not stop. So, but we have wood that season too. I, I got some in the truck already. But uh, the birch, looking at it for various uses, you know. So, when you ask my fair ride, take it easy, man. So, out here, I usually carry my SCHF. Uh, 36 smaller I have an 18 also, but I always carry this in it. Do I normally chop wood with this? No, but it's pretty beefy um, I've even made spoons instead of a hatchet. I use this but uh, yeah, so got, I'm gonna make a you know this for my tripod or bipod perfect for that does chop real nice I say chop, I'm not trying to cut here, I'm just cutting these little pieces off here. So it works pretty good for that. So you can see where I cut all the different pieces on there. Just trimming up a little. So it works pretty good for that. So I'm out in the wood lot again, I'm getting the wood. But uh, yeah, it's all safe little piece for a little bipod or tripod so but uh just want to show you always have this on me out here there's critters out it never bother you when they had a coyote about 30 yards from me one time i stopped cutting i was eating lunch and he was kind of looking well he make him like he's not looking at me but he was so because there's a valley down there came up over probably didn't see me right away but yeah just want to show you this is how i use this to chop but I've done spoons with this, too, in the beginning. So it's a good all-around camp knife, you know. Nothing fancy. doesn't cost a lot. I think it's a saber grime or flat grind or something. Uh, saber, I think, but I'm not sure. But uh, works pretty good. Comes with a fair rod sharpener and all that stuff. So just something to carry, just so I'll let you know. But I clean this up. I clean the other sticks up a little bit, too. I actually threw them in there already. I'll clean them up again. So taking a break. Drank some water. I'll uh, get back to you. Yeah, I got a little woodpecker out there. Probably if I lead it. But yeah, I cut a lot of that wood up now, so most of it. Getting tired, I want to make no mistakes. That's when you get hurt. Cut the stump down a little bit. Got all that. So, and, and just so you know, I. So I'll carry this on my arse. What's left of it? Mostly have stomach now. I'm like an old rooster, you know? But, uh, it's a Husqvarna hatchet, but actually it's, uh, it's a Holtzbrook. Stamped on there and everything. I had this for years. I carry it when I'm banging in the, uh, wedges and the, uh, PV tooth. We got that there. So, you take care. Keep your eyes to the sky. All I gotta do now is, I'm going to take a break, have a banana or something, and an uh, orange, and a uh, beautiful day. Yeah, trees in good shape there. Got all the nice birch, and um, got some branches right down here, too, ready to burn. And, uh, yeah, load the truck up, go home, unload it. Great day, man. Peace. Keep your eyes to the sky. Freedom. Quinn has small fair ride. Take care, man.
know if you can see it right uh, down in there. A bunch of sticks, things I make pegs out of this birch. Got some there. Clean it up a little bit. Gonna make that one piece standing over there. I'm gonna make a chair out of it and my teepee. Got a hand truck so I don't have to put a lot of pressure on my legs. They're getting better, thank God. But uh, yeah, nice windy day, but it's, if it looks hazy, it's because of the smoke in Canada and coming down. So, yeah, just cutting off some firewood here. Winter's coming, winter's coming, man. Always got to prepare. So, maybe some of the scenes you had be from last time I was out here and this time, but I just saved a lot of forked branches and things I can use for tarps. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice out here. I always keep my eyes open, you know, for while. I'm not worried about that. Uh, people usually don't come around here. It's very rare. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so I'm going to look around. Before I go, I'll load the truck up. Look around, see where I'll cut next. I see a lot of places here. Tree's already down. Wind's blowing. All that haze from Canada, it's up in the sky, it's higher, but it will come lower. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing, man. It's uh, nice here. Beautiful country out here, man. It's my own forest. Beautiful. Yeah, everything's well managed there properly. Yes, the water company. Well managed with proper trained forest management people foresters but uh take care i'm gonna go uh have my lunch got my straight knife here and you know my hatchet there so we're good I'll show you my stickers here 80k of course i'm always going up there this one's in chester town Sportum's Corner picked it up. We're always in Chestertown, uh, near Paris, that end of it, very end of it. Geez, that Chris, Carolina Chris, myself. I think that's Lake Placid up there somewhere. This is like the Morris area. Uh, a lot of lakes up there that have to rescue a lot of people in the ice and in the lake and uh, support them. So for and I got this one right here. It's cool. I like the logo. Just ordered some stuff from them. Yeah, they sent me some free stuff. I got a mountain man uh, sent some beard bomb and uh, very good stuff. They sent me a nice little sample and uh, I actually ordered stuff from them uh, yesterday. And uh, so I'll be waiting for that. Pretty cool. They have all kinds of good stuff there. So check them out. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on there. And then we, uh, you know, carry this on me when I'm cutting the wood. So it's house Barnum, but it has the the, uh, the Holtzbrook uh, stamp on it. And, you know, my straight knife, which you've seen when I'm doing stuff out here. But uh, just used a, a small uh, Husky 51 to cut that wood up a little bit. My hand truck, my wood. Yeah. Legs feel good. Um, I feel good now. I just took a break, so fine. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a a little. That's high enough. Make a little chair for my teepee. Got the hand truck in case I need it, so I don't overwork my knees. Bunch of wood down there that I cut, and then all the sticks and stuff. Show you what I mean. Uh, can't just cut wood so I'm gonna burn it all up and I, I, I like to use it for something you know so I got a lot of sticks in here post sticks some things so are little pegs in there so I'll save a lot of little pieces for uh, tarps and things trade them mile man event or something but I got some wood there but uh, yeah and, uh, Beautiful day. We got some trees down in the, as you pull down in here. I got some trees down in there. 
and that goes down to like where a glacier was down there but uh it's a nice day yeah so well, i gotta get the work load the stuff up and uh so it works out and if i have to there's a couple of stumps down there i gotta knock down a little bit uh we don't knock trees down um when we're alone here good policy i didn't never did that anyway so we have the proper equipment and everything else so but uh wind's kicking up a little bit still hazy because of the fire in canada it's going to be hazy till tonight or tomorrow morning but uh yeah when you're getting old man you got to use uh something to make it easier for you um it's my knees are recuperating that's all so no problem i feel actually real good right now so we'll take care yeah we're doing fine man Yeah. I'm doing fine. There's the truck, there's all the stuff. Gonna make a chair out of that. My teepee. Some logs over there behind it. Got the hand truck just in case, uh, you know. Give my legs a break to get me get better feel good but uh yeah, a bunch bunch of wood it's hard to see it all points in but nice black birch and then uh all the branches and make pegs tent tarps and sticks for all that like I, you know i drive myself crazy between the spoons and using stuff for camping i, I like to save all that stuff but uh just a little valley. I'll knock some stumps down that are there. Goes down and there used to be a glacier down down in there. Or way past that around the corner. But uh yeah, it's good well managed forest there. Uh and they got some young hickory like this on my hand is right here, this is a young hickory tree. Uh but uh there's a couple of them right around here, a few of them actually. So but uh yeah that's what we're doing here uh, go back to the truck and get my gloves this is second time out here in a short time so kind of mixed the pitches a little bit a little husky 51 there as far as the chaps and stuff like that i got equipment helmet and uh this stuff here my shred my shit uh chf 36 like it Holtzbrook so it's as far in here but it's Holtzbrook yeah so I'm gonna get to work here and load the truck up and see where we stand if we have to cut more I feel good now took a nice break have lunch my old Dodge truck here, keep that baby running. So, take care. Peace.